Morning Reds, Sammy for United People's TV. It's Monday morning. We're here after a shit weekend of football. United lost, Spurs won, Arsenal won. I suppose a good thing is the City lost, so we haven't really lost ground in that top four. But what's happening with United right now? Uh, let's go through the latest news and updates from the weekend. Uh, there's one starting point. Uh, Louis van Gaal's been talking about, obviously this is post-match reaction after the Sunderland game, He's basically saying that United's best chance of a Champions League spot is to win the Europa League. Uh, effectively being defeatist about our chances of getting a top four spot. Bit of a change in track in so what he's normally been like all season in terms of being bullish that you know top four is still available. Before we played Chelsea, he said the title was still on. Um, for me, why that that sort of statement is should get him sacked straight away, surely. Because the only reason he's still here is because United technically have a top four chance. I imagine the board surely has lost... The, what, what's the board's reaction to that going to be? Because for me, it's him saying, you know what, we're not good enough for top four, but we might win the Europa League to get in Champions League. That's a, that's a pipe dream. You know, we're in, we're in the round of 32 in the, in the Europa League. There's so far to go to win that, to potentially get in the Champions League. It's, it's a madness. We're only six points behind City and we still play them. Um, now I'm not saying we are going to get top four because you know it is going to be tough, but it's not out of the question at all. And I don't know whether the board are holding on to Van Gaal until mathematically he can't get into the top four. What's the point in that? Why wait when we've got a chance to get in the top four if we make the change now? I mean, let me know in the comments below what your reaction to be. Maybe I'm overreacting, but I think surely if Van Gaal is basically saying in a defeatist manner that he can't get top four, why is he still here? Um, and Neil Custis from the Sun. Journalist that Louis van Gaal called a fat man. Um, he's been saying that Mourinho could be in charge before the Arsenal game. And he cites the fact, basically what I've said there, in that the board has lost confidence because of these comments from what Louis van Gaal has been saying. And it wouldn't surprise me if they had lost confidence. Whether he's bullish behind the scenes with them and he's a different man, but you can't say much after that Sunderland game. We were outplayed by a team in 19th place. We didn't just lose that game off the scrappy goal right at the end of the 90 minutes. We were beaten, fair and square, and he, against Sunderland. And that was, a, that was a week after we played quite well away to Chelsea. We had two wins before that. It's Jekyll and Hyde with United. You don't know who's going to turn up. Um, and that's been a problem this season. And it's a problem, it always will be the problem until Louis van Gaal goes, in, in my opinion. Um, moving on from Mourinho and van Gaal, Andreas Pereira has been talking about his future at United. And this one's quite positive. He, you know, he's saying he's excited to be in the team, he's going to keep working hard for his chances, happy that he's been on the bench, and that he doesn't mind playing for the under-21s. Now, Pereira's been playing quite a lot with the under-21s and looking head and shoulders above everyone else in the under-21s. He's far too good for that level of football, but unfortunately for him, he hasn't been getting the game time with the first team. But it's good to hear that Pereira's not going to let it frustrate him at the moment. Uh, I suppose his real test is what happens during the summer whether we invest and buy in loads of um, maybe more attacking midfielders that will push him further down the pecking order. And if that happens, then maybe he'll consider leaving. But at the time being, he's happy with his growth over the last 18 months. Remember, he's gone from the under-21s into the first team, made his debut. He's played in the Champions League, played in the FA Cup, played in the Premier League. He's done well. So in terms of his progress for a 20-year-old, he's had a good couple of years. But now we need to see that progress continue, probably for him to stay at United. Uh, and a final point here, uh, Louis van Gaal's been talking about Bastion Schweinsteiger, saying that he convinced the board to sign Schweinsteiger in the summer and that he's absolutely convinced he can come back to his best. Now, I've been a huge fan of Schweinsteiger for years before he joined United. He was always the midfielder. You know, when Skulls retired, that was the man I was pointing to, saying, Let's please get Schweinsteiger in. Obviously, he wasn't going to leave Bayern at the time. Went on to win everything with them, won the treble, won a Champions League, uh, and won the World Cup with Germany. And he's come to United, he's 31 now, and fitness has been a problem this season. He started off really, really slowly, came into it, got some rhythm, and then he got injured again, in and out, in and out, and now he's out of the team after his knee injury against, uh, who was it, Sheffield United at home, and he's been out since then. Everyone thought it was going to be a short injury, but it's ended up being about six weeks. Uh, Van Gaal's basically said hopefully he can be back in two weeks, but we don't know. Um, and it's been a disappointing year for Schweinsteiger. I think when he's had his fitness and he's using the right position, he's looked excellent. When he's used out of position, like against Arsenal away, 
when he's chasing the ball down. He hasn't got the legs for that anymore. So he looked foolish. He, he was played wrongly. Um, can he get back to his best? Let me know in the comments below whether you think he can get back to his best. You know, it's, he's 31. Has he seen his day? I think if you use Schweinsteiger correctly, you get him in that holding role or just in a deeper role that doesn't involve him running around too much and you let him anchor the game, I think that's when you can get the best out of Schweinsteiger. When you expect him to play as a more aggressive box-to-box -box midfielder, he's only got 60 minutes in him. Um, you know, I suppose that's what you get with 31-year-olds. You have to change your game. And it's probably what Rooney's going to have to do in a couple of years' time when his legs start getting further and further back. Uh, let me know in the comments below any, any stories that we missed today and we'll cover them tomorrow for you. Uh, but that's it for today's United 180. Uh, so drop a like on the video. It always helps. Uh, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And check out a video later on where me, Dan, and potentially Ira just go through the Sunderland game in a bit more detail in our basically our final word on the game. So take it easy, guys. We'll see you soon.